This is not a drill. You're not being Rickrolled. I mean, we are, but we're not. Tabs is actually out. This is Tabs. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's about time. Two years, nine months later. Just kidding. The game is actually out. Yes. Happy Fool's Day. All right, guys, so welcome to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Two years, nine months, or something like that in the making. And we're finally here. So, the question is going to be presented. Oh my god, you hear that music? Nostalgia, look at the new loading screen! Oh, look at these guys! They look like something out of, like, Rick and Morty, man. So, obviously the question is going to be, what is going to be the best faction? Now, when you look at this, this is the ancient faction, the caveman faction. We got a clubber, a dude with a shield, which could get shot with an arrow through there. We've got a spear thrower, a rock thrower, the rock mage, the shaman himself. Look at that, even the eyes of it, this. This little antler skull here are blinking. We've got the chieftain with his two twin stone axes. And then we have the boss unit. And each faction, each of these new factions has a boss unit for the ancient faction. It's an Oliphant. No, but once we get unit modding, I'm going to make Lord of the Rings Oliphants. It is a mammoth. So real quick, we're going to be showing off all the other factions, but I want you in the comments below to give me challenges and give me custom battles. Now that Tabs is finally out, and we're going to be showing off all the new units, so you're going to be able to get those challenges and those custom battles down pat. And look, it's a hobbit! So this is the farmer faction. Look at this, this is, the, this is a hay baler. With his haircut is really, really funny. They're actually really good because it's very difficult to hit them in a vulnerable spot. This is a potion thrower. We've got the guy with the scythe, the reaper, we've got the battle wagon, and then we have their boss unit, which is the scarecrow. So now we've got the medieval faction here. This is the bard, and he's playing music to lure the enemy into a false sense of peace. We've got Dias Volt, the crusader here, an archer. We got the priest who has healing abilities, and I believe he can use this as a melee weapon. So since we had the squire, it's only fair that we have a knight. And this one seems incredibly tall. He's got an impressive shield, dual wielding. We've got the catapult, and it looks like this guy is very excited to be throwing it. And we have the king. Now you could say this is kind of like the Greek and Roman faction. We've got a pikeman, the shield bearer, classic. I wish he could use this dagger when he gets in close, though. We've got a Hoplite, which, oh my gosh, one of my favorite units. We've got Snake Archers, a Ballista here. We have a Minotaur, and it looks like he's he's got like a, a wrestling belt. And then Zeus, the god of lightning, the king of the gods in the Greek mythology. So for the Vikings, we've got the classic Headbutter, aka what we used to call the Velociraptor because they were so fast and they would leap at their enemies. We've got a Frost Archer, which it looks like this arrow's protruding through his stomach, but you can see this is an icy blade tip, kind of like White Walker type stuff from Game of Thrones. We've got a Viking Brawler. We've got the Berserker. We've got the Valkyrie, which, look at this, twin swords, dual wielding, and the ability to fly. We've got the Jarl, aka the Bear Man. And then the boss unit is called the Longship. <laughs> These guys are literally carrying a Viking Longship using the new mounting system, which brings, up to the, brings us to the next point. Now, this is not 2016 tabs. Look at this. So there's two things in action right now. First, the new mounting system. And secondly, there is no friendly fire happening. This is so atypical of what we got so accustomed to in tabs. If you were to line people up three lines deep, there would be tons and tons of friendly fire. Instead, what is happening is everybody fires in such a way that they won't hit their friendly units. And look at this. Oh my gosh. These Roman archers are so well done. Their bows, their helmets, the garb, it's great. I, I want a proper Roman faction. And I know that we're going to be able to do that, which is going to bring up the next point. And look at this. The units have different height. There's different customization. Oh, <laughs> perfect shot, mate. <laughs> that looked like it was right above the heart. Oh my gosh. Slow motion arrow impacts will just never get old. This is incredible. I love this so very much. <laughs> Look at this. This is basically kind of an early version, an early homage to what will be the editor, the unit editor. Now, this was made by just some artist on Twitter, and they tweeted at Landfall people. Landfall put it in the game. This is Vlad the Impaler. It looks very Ottoman. 
Oh! And they are carrying just giant tree trunks that have been sharpened to impale the enemy. So right now we've got one, two, three, four, five factions. Ancient faction, farmer faction, Medieval faction, Greek and Roman, and then the Vikings. Now, when you look at this, we've got ninjas, renaissance, and pirates, but they're gonna come in a future update. So here we have the ancient faction headlined by the woolly mammoth, and then the farmer faction headlined in their boss being the scarecrow. Now, it's one of each unit, and you can see that they're kind of close in terms of money. 3,300 versus 2,900. Let's get the battle. Let's see how it goes. Now, I did basically least to best what would you say you most best to least look oh is that a potion oh that guy looked like he got friendly fired by a rock and some potions the scarecrow throw fires crows they're like magical crows the reaper's trying to take out the legs of the woolly mammoth but the woolly mammoth is just not being bothered by it so let's see how many units are still up it looks like the farmer faction is getting their butt kicked despite the fact that they had a little bit more money out there oh hold on the Scarecrow took out the Woolly Mammoth, and there's a Hobbit who has the ability to grab enemy units, and he's grabbing the Brawler. Oh! He takes... He takes a Spear to the Wrist, so now... This is gonna be interesting. We've got the Scarecrow left. We are trying to determine which is the best new faction in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Now that it has been released on April Fool's Day, in the year of our toast, 2019. These crows, it's almost like a chicken man man, or a chicken man. Very similar to that. Look at that. That sounded like blitz. All right, so we'll do best out of what? We'll do another one. Is that, is the woolly mammoth down? But yeah, we got to do a lot of the voice acting. It was like Petard, myself, Quebble Cop, Dragas, Blitz, and we all got to voice some of the characters, which was awesome. I think Azilane, Azilane was there too. I'm trying to remember if I forgot anybody. I think that was it. We had a little tournament. Oh! The mammoth just took out the bone mage. See here. What are you, are you missing? What are you doing? I think he got a little woozy. Oh no, the woolly mammoth is down. So now we've got, we've got a showdown here between the bone mage and the scarecrow. Oh, and there we go, a red victory. So best out of three, the third and final round here in our quest. Oh, you hear that? Derp, derp, derp. That was me. <laughs> that's one of my sound effects. <laughs> I remember that. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. It looks like... And that one. But <laughs> I had so much fun. Uh, I, I should put that on like a... I'm a voice actor now, guys. All right, red one, two out of three. Look at this map. Oh my god, it's already even better than any of the maps we played in the old game. And look at this, there's probably so much going on here. I wish I could like... We need to just like check it out. Look at this, man. And we could put them on the temples. We could have like sieges here. Anyway, so the quest to find the best faction continues. We've got the medieval faction led by their king. They've got a catapult, a knight, the priest with the healing abilities, an archer, a regular old archer, a squire. Ooh, look at that little war paint on his helmet. I wonder if that's different. And then we've got the bard versus the Hellenic faction. So we've got the Sarissa, AKA the pike. The shield bearer, the hoplite, one of my favorites, the snake archer. This is gonna be really interesting to see because they took the snakes from stick fight. By the way, do you wanna see more stick fight? And they put it in this game, Ballista, Minotaur, and then Zeus himself. So remember, it's best out of three, one of each unit. Now, quick thing, as we stand to the gorgeous eyes of Zeus himself, if you want me to do like an, a best unit tournament? We could probably do that too in the future. Let me know. That could be one of the challenges or one of the custom battle suggestions. Put in the comments below. So here we go. Round one of three. Catapult is firing. It looks like it's gonna hit the ballista. Taking out the ballista, breaking it. You see the wheels breaking. Oh, and looks like looks like the priest is currently healing their king who may have just gotten hit. Oh, the priest takes chain lightning to the face and he's down. Minotaur versus the king. Oh. Oh, what was that? What just hit him? Was that a ballista bolt? The ballista's still up. It just lost its wheels. I think I think I'm the voice for Zeus right here too. Oh my gosh. 
The Hellenic faction ran away with this. Now, when you look at the money spent, they have a they have Zeus, which is two thousand, the Minotaur, which is fifteen hundred, and a Ballista, which is nine fifty. And then when you look at what you'd spend on the medieval faction, one of each unit, it's fourteen thirty is only the king. The Minotaur and the Zeus are both more expensive. All right, so it is round two. Zeus's army is walking away with this one, one to zero already. Oh, the Hoplite takes an arrow to one of his few exposed places, which is his hand. Zeus just immediately wrecks the priest and the archer with the chain lightning. The knight just got hit with a bolt directly to the stomach. He got hit in the legs. Oh, the ballista took out the knight this time. The king is still fighting. Oh! Come on, king. Just lay one. Just- No, what are you doing? Swing on Zeus! Did he just knock out Zeus? No, he took him down. Oh! <gasps> Zeus is dead, and now we get to see one of the snakes from the Greek snake archers going after the rib cage of the king, but he is not deterred. He is feeling brave. What are you doing, big guy? Oh, he's trying to swing on the snake. I think. He's getting distracted by it. Now he's fighting the pikeman. No way. So, I'm actually very surprised. I think they're gonna win unless the snake kills him right there, which he does not. Wait a minute. Who's still alive? The snake is still alive? The snake counts as a unit. Oh, he's biting him right in the nether carriage. You do not want to get hit there. Red victory. Okay, it's one to one. So this is the tie-breaking round. The ballista got knocked out this time. Oh! Oh my god, yes! <laughs> that ballista has some serious power on it. So the king has to survive again. Oh my god, it looks like the minotaur took a little bit of chain lightning too. I don't think the king's gonna be able to defeat every unit. He's currently in a, mini, um, a melee brawl here, and he gets taken out. It looks like the person who may have gotten the finishing hit may have been the humblest of the units, the pikeman. And this guy looks like he got hit on the head a little bit hard. Zeus is still alive, and there you have it. The king is dead, but the gods live on. Oh my gosh, imagine, like, Greek mythology. Like Zeus, Hercules, oh my gosh, Hades, all the goods! Now we are in the Arctic wastes of Upper Scandinavia. We've got the Viking faction, we've got the Headbutter, the Frost Archer, the Brawler, the Berserker. Valkyrie, what's up with you, Valkyrie? You're... are you okay? The Jarl, who looks awesome, by the way. And then their main unit. The long ship. Round one of three, you know the rules by now. Who is going to win? Now, I'm actually very curious how this long ship works. I think I remember... Oh my god, the Berserker jumps! Do you see that in the background? He just... <laughs> they tried to throw the warship onto the mammoth. The Valkyrie's still going. The Valkyrie... Oh, I was gonna say the Valkyrie's gonna be pretty difficult to hit. All right, so we've got a few melee units and the Frost Archer. The Frost Archer doesn't seem like it's hitting the Woolly Mammoth enough to where he's slowing down. Ooh, there we go. It slowed him down for just a little bit. What is behind those giant doors? Oh my gosh, here is the... Ooh! Okay, there you have it. Red walks away with this one. Wait a minute. Is that the Zweihander? The fabled Scandinavian sword. There's so much going on on these maps. Like, just take a look around. I want to know what's behind that. What's in this cage? Round two out of three. The ancient faction beat the Vikings this time. In round one. So I'm wondering... We put boss against boss. I think that would normally be pretty good at knocking out or silencing a unit. But it may just be that the Vikings are not a really good counter to the boss unit for the ancient faction. It depends on how effective- Ooh! This guy got turned to ice! That is awesome! Look at this! This is what you could use for a skin for like- Like, uh, zombies or something like that, man! Okay, here we go. And we've seen this before. This is a little bit of deja vu. Oh! Alright, so now we have the Vikings against the farmer faction. The Berserker with his leaping ability and the Valkyrie. Oh, here we go. Do they hit it? Oh, they didn't... It didn't look like it hit anything. This seems like it'd be really good at taking out 
uh, a slow moving boss unit that's small, not a huge one like the mammoth, and maybe like giant formations. Ooh, the Jarl just got double pecked in the back here by some crows. He's trying to fight off this pitchfork man. And the Valkyrie just swoops in. Str headbutts. It's like he's like a flying headbutter with swords, which is awesome. The potion seller just missed. Ooh, the Reaper just took him out. Here we go. Oh, look, and the guys, it looks like, okay, so there's guys are just giant oars. Imagine if the top of the Viking ship had Jarls, which were the bear men. Ooh, there we go. Okay, good. I'm glad he's still alive. Oh, there might be some friendly fire here. Ooh! Yeah, there definitely was. He's got... Oh, wait! The Vikings won one! So round one goes to the Vikings. That is their first victory because they did get swept by the ancient faction. There we go, the Viking longship is near. Oh, it just absolutely destroyed this. Okay, we've got the three Ormen and the Jarl going up against the Reaper. Battle Axe versus Long Blade. It seems like a pretty good fight. Oh man, two crows immediately take out both ore holders. <laughs> All right, this one is tied up one to one. One for the farmers, one for the Vikings. Round three, the tie-breaking battle here. Okay, I almost said phase. I don't know, man. All right. One Orman didn't survive the impact. Two of them did. Ooh, the Valkyrie went after the Scarecrow, and I think he took him out. That is a major, major win. All right, so this it's going to come down to... Ooh, the Reaper took out... Oh, my gosh. Wait. The Reaper's down. He's got to take out the Wheelbarrow Pilot, who's still alive. One of the ore guys is still alive, and he's trying to hit him with a long-range hit. But I, I'm not... No, he's not down. He, he wasn't killed by friendly fire. He's He's been doing his yoga. Okay. The potion seller thrower, which I don't know if it makes them dizzy or what. Ooh, the Jarl dodged one. Oh, he's on the ground. He's got to get up. Ooh, big axe. Can you imagine taking an axe to the chest like that? Oh, look at this guy. Oh my gosh, I love it. The level of detail on all these units is incredible, and I love how when it ends, Everything just freezes. Like, look at this. That's awesome. It looks like you're in a gladiatorial arena here. So he's called the Harvester. Now, before we get into this one, this guy's called the Harvester. Look at this map. This map. Like, look at the background. My gosh, even the background has detail. This is the most beautiful map. I thought we found it. Look at that. We've got Mount Olympus, which is a temple. This almost reminds me of, like... Hold on. Does it have a, a hole in it? No, I was gonna say, don't you remember the pyramid in the old tabs? And look at this! We've got a walled compound which would work great for sieges. We got the old temples here that they're no longer colored. There's a little bit of a graveyard there. So here we go. This, this map is incredible. We've got- this is the ancient faction, actually. I was- I was mistaken. There's- oh my god, look at this! Look at the random generation! He's got a little head, the Minotaur does. Okay, ooh, Zeus gets taken down immediately from the Scarecrow King. And it looks like- unless this Ballista- I don't think this Ballista can be aimed. And it's sinking in the ground, so he's definitely dead. So the Harvester takes out the Snake Archer, and now the only remaining unit was the Snake. The Snake, though, I- I don't know if it dies or if it wears out over time, or both. So, the Farmers win round one, round two, and look at this. After each battle, it changes. Their heights can change. Oh my gosh. Minotaur takes out the Wheelbarrow crew. Zeus goes down immediately to the Scarecrow. The Ballista is still up, actually. Oh, he does lost his wheel. The Minotaur's up. S snake Archer. Come on, Snake Archer. Come on, Snake Archer. You gotta fire more snakes, man. Oh, the crows got him. I don't know. Oh, goodness. The Scarecrow King is- wait a minute, what's that? Oh, I thought the shadow was like a statue in the background. This map is gorgeous. So, wow. The Greeks get swept two to one by the Farmer Faction. So now we've got the Greeks, aka the Ancient Faction, versus the Vikings. Now what's gonna be really interesting is here we have a Frost Archer paired up against a Shield Unit, which should be pretty cool to see what happens. So, round one, who's gonna win? Now, I'm just now realizing 
with five different teams and each one has to fight four teams, that's gonna be 20 battles with three rounds of, like, with a round of three, basically, each time you fight, you f have three individual battles. Are those lightning bolts coming down from the heavens? Then that means we would have to do 60 different battles. So I think we're only gonna do half of that. And you guys are gonna have to be the judge as to who you think is going to be the best. Zeus is actually still alive this time, just throwing lightning bolts straight into the Jarl. I think Zeus, which reminds me of the neon Tesla guy, would be best against crowd control. And here's the Ballista about to get Jarled, although there's a frost arrow on the way. Look at those beautiful terracotta buildings in the background. Oh, that poor man. Looked like his, he had a, like a smiling bow face. Okay, round one goes to the Vikings. The Greeks are really getting their butts kicked a lot, which I'm kind of surprised. I think it's due to the health of Zeus. Look at this. The Viking Berserker is an amazing unit and is really good at distracting. And if, if the enemy has big formations, I think it's pretty good to distract them that way. The snake is still alive. The Vikings are fighting. I don't know, if only Zeus is left and he can't take out the Jarl like that, then it's over, man. It's just straight up over. Unless, nope. That looks like it's it. The snake gets Jarled. And the ancient Greeks get swept. Two to zero. So, so far, the only team that hasn't lost, but they've only seen the farmer faction and the viking faction, is the tribal faction. So, let's put the tribals against the medievals and see who wins this one. Alright, so we got King Zweihanda here, aka two-hander sword. Oh man, the chieftain just got hit by a rock. Oh my gosh. The priest tried to heal the king. This is- the mammoth is just too big. Look at this, this is an absolute rout. I- I dare to say, I think right now, one of the best factions is the tribal faction. Look at the bard running away! He's trying to run away playing his music. It doesn't seem to be working. Is this- oh, he's stuck on a tree. Uh-oh. Son. Oh. Oh. He's trying to get- uh oh. Mammoth is here. The mammoth gets his horn stuck on the tree. He's gonna need some dental work after that. Blue victory. The tribals win round one. Man, the chieftain never- never really makes it too far. The mammoth is just too good. I dare say it seems like the tribal faction is the best right now because of the power of this guy. The mammoth himself. So right now, I really think that the tribal faction is going to be the best. So we have to pit them against their last opponent, which is the ancient Greeks. It just sounded like Zeus had a lightning fart. I don't know what that was all about. Ooh! Ooh! The chieftain takes three lightning bolts, and all he needs is two hammer hits, and he takes Zeus out. Are you kidding me? Who's left alive? Nobody! We're- we are finding who the best faction is. So, round one goes to Woolly Mammoth's ancient tribal, tribal ancient. Mammoth just takes out the Ballista with a, a nice swift move of his tusk. Snake Archer is about to get tusked. Oh, look at that. Oh, no! Wait a minute. What? I was actually surprised. The Mammoth just stopped moving. I was like, what's his deal? He died. Okay. It's tied one to one. This is the tie-breaking round. He takes out the Minotaur. He takes out Zeus. He's got a Ballista Bolt in his rear thigh. But, with Zeus and the Minotaur down, and the Mammoth still up, I think this one's definitely going towards the Ancient Faction. Who's left? Just a snake. Oh, look what was with that! That was friendly fire! He threw- We saw what you did, man! We understand you're hungry, and your favorite thing is a good old Mammoth steak, but this- That's just cruel! Why would you do that? I wonder if he died, or if that was just like a blow that made him like wince. So it looks like that the best faction in the game is the tribal faction. They're the only one to fight all four of the other factions and go undefeated. Everyone else lost at least one. So yes, that was the sandbox where when you look at this, look at how many different maps we have. Simulation. We've got 13 maps already just for the five factions we have. Each one has, it looks like two maps. 
and then a sandbox for them. Although I don't see a medieval sandbox, which is interesting. I guess that might still be being worked on. And then we've got the campaign. Now, I played this ahead of time and realized it would be much more fun to show you which I thought was the best faction in the game. So let's go back, and here's the thing. Since I haven't defeated any of the farmer factions, I don't have any of those units. Oh, this is cool! I get to actually go back, and these are the only units that are available to me. Oh, that is great, because I was like, oh, I don't know if I have to find my old save file. So here we go, let's defeat this. We've got, what, six different clubbers, and look at this. We've got campfires, gorgeous trees. The art style of these maps is gorgeous, mate. Alright, so I want a few spear throwers, and then I'll get two clubbers, and hopefully that's gonna be enough. Spear throwers are gonna have to be very accurate. We took out 50% of them right away. Come on, clubber. Just distract them long enough. For our spear throwers. Yes! He's- is he- is that guy dead? Is he carrying? No, 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 they're- they're fighting brothers in arms. Alright guys, we need some more spears. Yes! Ooh! Come on! Oh, he missed because the he was too close. Spear throwers seem to be pretty good. So mission one in the campaign with the best faction, aka the tribal faction. Wait, is this guy- is, is this guy dodging everything? Someone's gotta spear him. Yes, there it is. All right, victory. So let's go to the next level. And now we've got spear throwers. So I think this is pretty easy, what we want to do. All right, so I did all shields and then two... Oh, look at that. We, none of us went down on the first salvo. I think this one is definitely going to go in our favor because we've closed the ranks. We're starting to knock out... Look at this guy with his little head, man. Oh my god, I love it. Our shield bearers are doing a really good job. And that was a resounding victory. I think we only lost maybe one unit? I think this is the only unit that we lost. All right, so now we have the new rock throwers being showed to us. I wonder how they do against, oh no. We've also got the shaman. Okay. So we want a few protectors here. All right, so we've got a classic ranged units on the side. Oh, we took out both of the bone mages before they were able to hit. However, they do have a lot of melee units still up. If my guys can get a few more kills, I think this is- Oh! What just happened over there? Our spear throwers are being really, really accurate, except for these two over here. You guys, I, I don't even- I won't even have to fire you if, if you keep missing, because you're gonna get wrecked by this guy. What? That wasn't even a very good hit. Okay, the rock door is pretty good. Until he takes a spear into his throwing arm. And that is a victory for us. So we're marching our way straight down this. Now that we've got the stoner, aka the rock door on our team, this just looks perfect for some stones because I think they're really, really good. Here we go. Stones down the middle, clubs on the side. Ooh, was that enough? No, that was not enough. I think we don't want that many stone throwers. They're good at disrupting, but it didn't look like they had enough to kill, but I, I don't know. It depends. Yeah, we're getting flanked on both sides. We're getting caught between a pincer maneuver, a double envelopment here, and, uh, it's not looking good. So our first campaign defeat comes to a bunch of guys with really awesome hair. All bone mages, perfect crowd control units. Oh, oh my god, yes. Oh my god, are they good at that. <laughs> Quick work! Next mission! Alright, so bone mages, and then we've got a bunch of chieftains. What if I just... spear throw them? There we go. We got lots of oh wow. So these are the chieftain units. Really, really good until they take a stone spear to their chest. Come on, boys. Have we- oh, I've lost- I've lost both my bone mages, and now they're in my lines! Oh god. This went south real fast. Okay, just because we took a lot out doesn't mean we can just, like, walk around like we own the place. First salvo out. Oh, I got an idea. I think what we need to do is mix. There we go. Hopefully that'll be two different salvos. Oh, wow. That time it only took down maybe, like, one or two of the chieftains? But we are doing far, far better this time with a staggered approach. Oh, bone mage is up in the air. Oh, that's definitely a broken neck. He is not feeling too good. Yes! The bone mage smacked him to the ground and this spear thrower was like, I'll get the final hit. Speared him right in the ribs. Now we got the chieftain on our side and I want to put it- I want to try to see how good they are against multiple shield guys. And then I want a few spear throwers to go up against the mages. I'm gonna try to take them out of distance, let's see. Oh, they didn't fire at any of the mages. Oh my god! 
there's spearmen coming out of the mountains as reinforcements. This is gonna be a little bit challenging. Come on, spear throwers, you have to take out the bone mages. Yes, brilliant, okay. So, I, I think, oh, we don't have any shields. I wasn't accounting for that. We've got a few spears ourselves. We get the second salvo, only three out of four hit. And our chieftains are down and they've just got more spear throwers now. So now we're gonna lose this skirmishing long-range battle here. Oh, right in the chest. All right, so we did a mixed bag here. We also have a couple shield units. Now I'm hoping that we can take out their bone mages before they do too much damage to us. I need my spear throwers to target them. Okay, my bone mage did. That's good. And we're clubbing them while he's down. Oh, he's still alive. Okay, so at this point, oh, bone mage and chieftain are in the front. They're gonna get ripped apart by spears. Oh no, please don't hit these guys. Woo, those were misses, okay. We do have a few shields, and we have a bone mage, so if this bone mage can survive and get to the front, ooh, that spear almost went through the head hole there. The chieftain should be able to, ooh. Yes, these shields are working brilliantly. The chieftain made it there, and this looks like a rout. Bone mage just clearing him out. Come on. We- we should- whoa. Where'd that spear come from? Ha <laughs> ha! Wait a minute, what's in the cave? What could be in this cave? It's- There's fire! Anyway guys, stay tuned for our next episode of Totally Aga Battle Simulator. Let me know your custom battle suggestions, your challenge suggestions, and we've got a campaign to beat. So anyway, Tabs is finally out. Happy April 1st, remember? Custom battles in the comments below, challenges in the comments below. If you want more tabs, you know what to do. Pull the trigger on the like button and let me know in the comments. And I will see you guys in the next video.